Hey, hi YouTube, how are you doing? It is me again, yes. My name is, if you didn't know, first of all I want to thank you for coming to my YouTube page, and my name is K-I-M. Keep it mighty, keep it mighty. Yes, we want to keep things mighty in life because there's so much other things that we're going through in this time of this bereavement of the world with this corona. We're trying to still have Thanksgiving. So, I want to bring y'all into my Thanksgiving Day uh, dinner that I'm going to be cooking. And just some of it, but I am just want y'all to come on in and check me out while I show you some of my little recipe of how I get my Thanksgiving Day going for my family as well. And to your family and everyone afar, may the Lord continue to richly bless you through this holiday. And we pray that um, soon everybody will in the world will begin to feel much better soon and very soon. But getting back to Thanksgiving Day dinner. Okay, which we know this is the day before Thanksgiving. Yeah, the day before Thanksgiving. Yeah, so we got a K-I-M, keep it mighty. So today we're going to take and I'm going to show you guys one of the things uh, we're, we're doing this year, we're doing more meat than sides for some reason. Um, my family wants to eat a little bit more meat than all the sides we usually fix every year. So this year, and we're doing some meats different than what we usually do as a regular uh, Thanksgiving Day dinner. You have the big turkey and all this other stuff and everything. But you know how it is now with the corona. You really can't have family uh, like you usually do the holidays and that's one sad part in my heart you know but we have to go on so we didn't do a real big thanksgiving day family thing and really i wouldn't even be up here on youtube to tell you the truth but um we did um do some of the things we like and some of the things we just normally eat that we like so I want to show you, um, if you're not cooking uh, for your family, and if you are still having guests come over and family and stuff come over, which we all know, that gloves would be a good thing to cook with, okay? Yes, gloves would be a great thing to cook with, especially with Corona and especially with just trying to stay clean and trying to keep food, you know, the best way you can. So... But, since I wash my hands very good, and I'm going to rinse them off again since I've touched these gloves, but I wash my hands very good, and I um, made sure that everything that I prepared was nice and clean and ready for seasoning and to be ready to prepare for the Thanksgiving Day meal. But, for right now, I'm going to uh, pause for one second and just let you admire... Uh, my 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 kitchen uh, portfolio because I'm going to wrench my hands and I um, over here going to the sink to do that and I'm just gonna turn the camera just a little bit where you can see me washing my hands making sure it's clean all over again so I can get back to uh, what I was trying to do Yes, 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 shake it off. Just shake it off. Just just shake it off. Whatever you can get together in this holiday. And whatever you can't do this holiday like you did last year. And how maybe you got to go out and on a vacation. Or you got to, I don't know, go and shop you dropped or whatever or just been able to go over somebody's house to sit and talk and let your burdens down you know what I'm saying um just let your hair go feel me you know um you know you may not be able to do it like you want to and want it to do this Thanksgiving but let's just be thankful that if you live to see Thanksgiving Day come let's just wake up and just thank God for the breath that we still have in our body. Where somebody else laid down last night and didn't wake up. So, 
if you have nothing else to be thankful for and the dinner is not the way you want it to be and the people didn't come that you wanted to come or you couldn't go where you wanted to go just wake up out your bed and say thank you lord for breath today because somebody didn't wake up and somebody don't have any breath so with that breath, you're going to use it to your advantage and you're going to have fun. And you're going to go and have fun in your space. Wherever your space is, you're going to have fun in your space. So I just want to give you some word of encouragement, though, just to let you know that whatever it is that is always somebody may be doing a little bit worse than you, but they still in pain just like you or they're happy just like you but the bible says let us just be happy for one another in sad times and good times whatever it is that you're going through our prayers of the righteous will avail of much and help whatever situation it is that you're in i'm there with you i may can't hold your hand i may can't give you money i may can't um make whatever it is you're going through go away but prayer is a powerful weapon i know it to be in my life prayer changed my whole life prayer gave me back my children prayer let me see them being grown adults today you know so prayer does change and prayer can change for you this thanksgiving day it can change for you uh whatever's going on out there it can change for you. All you have to do is want to make a change, you know, make a change and just keep going, you know, just start over. Just keep it mighty, you know, because you are a mighty person. You are a mighty person, a beautiful person and someone who deserves to be loved. And to be loved is a great thing. So, in love, if nobody said they love you today, I'm going to say I love you with the love of the Lord. I can see in you the glory of our King. I love you with the love of the Lord. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I really need you guys to help us out. Now, don't forget, we're trying to keep it mighty over here now. Here we go. I know I talk a lot. <laughs> but see, I used to talk all this stuff off of YouTube. <laughs> Tika's talking is my therapy. I can't help it. You know, I always like to help people and talk and listen to people. And I also like to talk, too. You know, everybody got to talk a little bit. Get something off your chest. S -S. Yes. All right. But anyway, I'm trying to cook. Now I'm just so happy in my spirit. Because sadness is there. Believe me. Sadness is calling me. It's calling me. But I am punching them out with that mighty K-I-M. I'm punching them. I'm punching them with that mighty K-I-M to keep it moving. Even though I don't have what I would like to have in this Thanksgiving Day holiday and be where I want to be in this Thanksgiving Day holiday. You know, but somebody I have to keep saying is somebody else is not there either. Not where they want to be, you know, and... We have to continue just to help each other. So help me again, like I said. Come on, come on over to my page. If you have any questions, if you have anything that you want to share, if you have any recipes or anything that you would just like prayer for from me, I like to pray. Matter of fact, I'm going to check it out. I love, I love to pray. I love to pray. Because I know prayer will keep you standing. All right, well, the first one we're going to go through is the chicken. Everybody loves some fried chicken, so this holiday baby, this holiday baby, we're going to have some fried chicken on Thanksgiving. But not only we're going to have fried chicken on Thanksgiving, we're going to have turkey. We're going to have some steak. You know, I mean, God is just blessing. We're going to have some seafood. But I will tell you more of that when I come back. Bye. Have a blessed day. Talk to you soon.